That sounds ridiculous. On, oh my God, I'm gonna have to slow down because I'm not going through that as well. Oh my God. Oh dear. BMW's like the worst for going through floods apparently, so that's fun. Those lads are probably thinking, what have I got a GoPro in my head for? <laughs> that is mad! So welcome everyone to a POV drive of my BMW M140i running stage two plus. I've had so many comments on YouTube recently saying, can you take this thing on a POV drive? Now it is tuned. So that is what we're doing today. I woke up nice and early. So it's a, a nice sort of cold, uh, foggy morning and hopefully we'll capture sunrise because I don't think it's quite up yet. It's over there somewhere. So uh, yeah, hopefully we catch that on camera. Please ignore the front plate. I still haven't worked out a way to get it on the front yet. And I went up country the other day. So I wanted to make sure my plate was definitely on the car and I know all of you are going to complain that it's blocking airflow I completely get that but I haven't really been driving harsh with the plate like that and today will probably be the first time I'm really going to give it uh, some sort of beans that will be changed and hopefully I'll be using some magna plates on that as soon as possible and I'll put it up in the normal place right there and have it so I can take it off and on but yeah the car is looking semi clean I did give it a quick spray off just a minute ago but um, as you, you know with, with all those car washes they never do a fantastic job unless you use the brush but yeah it, you know it's not too bad um i was never gonna get it perfect so i think enough rambling let's uh jump into the car i've got to be pretty quick on this drive to be fair because i have to get this video up today so you're probably watching this on friday on friday the 25th of november um and that is when this video is going to go live so i need to quickly get this done i then need to go home edit it and then i got to go to work so uh please bear with me i don't know how this is going to go but anyway let's jump straight into the car and uh do a quick start up it is already warm so you'll probably get some sort of like start up raw let's have a look yeah so nothing too major because obviously we got rid of that in the uh, tune so before we head out let's put it in sport plus and get a few revs <laughs> yeah it doesn't sound too bad i do need to play around on the map and to make it perfect but um yeah right let's go for a drive the conditions today are very damp, so I'm not going to be too stupid. It's more going to be noise rather than speed as such. So I'm not going to talk too much in this video because a lot of people just want me to drive it. Oh my God, look at that flood. That is un... Oh my God, I'm going to have to slow down because I'm not going through that as well. Oh my God. BMWs are not known for their, uh, flood, capability, their flood capabilities. So, uh, oh dear. BMWs like the worst for going through floods apparently. So that's fun. Um, I also don't want to rip my new front end off. But I think we're through, so that's all good. Um, but yeah, I'm not gonna talk too much in this video. I'm sort of gonna drive. Well, I say that every time and I end up talking through the whole thing, but I'm gonna try and just drive and make noises. But I grabbed myself a uh, hot chocolate this morning because the temperature outside is currently three degrees. Uh, we're just gonna sort of cruise until we get sort of some back roads because we can't really be putting a foot down in town, really. And people don't know how to drive because everyone's waiting for each other. But whilst we're sort of driving, I just want to say a massive thank you to everyone who is like watching the channel at the minute. The amount of views and comments and likes and Instagram sort of um, DMs and just interactions on Instagram has been insane. So thank you so much. The bumper video has gone down really well. Um, the car is an absolute state in here. If you have a look, look around and have, you know, a close look, you can see it's actually pretty dirty in here. Um, so I'm hopefully going to do a detailing video very, very soon. But... Yeah, thank you so much for the support, honestly. I do think we're sort of 75% through the project, so do let me know what else you'd like to see. Oh, I don't want to block the roads, but I'm gonna to have to go across. So for all the new viewers around here, the car is mapped by MG Flasher. It's currently stage two plus. We've got the high pressure fuel pump, a uh, high flow downpipe, and the sun's about to get in our eyes, a high flow downpipe. Um, we've got a double res delete. We've got the hot climate mod and the sort of air scoop for it as well, an air filter, uh, the super spark plugs, the TU spark plugs. I'm trying to think what else we've got. So a lot of people ask me, does your sort of intake system make any noise? Because I've got the air filter, I've got the air scoop, 
and I've also got the uh, intake and charge pipes as well. Hopefully you can hear that on camera, but yeah, it's decent. It's like decently loud. If you build it up, it sounds mega. It is so damp on the roads this morning. out in my eyes i probably drove the wrong way to be fair because the sun is going to be in our eyes but oh well we'll be all right but it is so wet outside I wish I chose a better day to do a POV drive, but it's been raining all the time and I wanted to get this video out for Friday, which is today. Um, so we're just gonna have to just drive steady and just get noise and not actually put our foot down because these roads can be deadly in the wet, so. There's so much water on the roads, it's not even funny. What I love about this exhaust is you can come in town, you can put it into drive, into comfort, the valve shuts, even with the window down, look. You can't hear nothing. If you put the window up as well, it's like completely silent. And at 70 mile an hour as well, it's completely silent. So many people comment saying, oh, I bet that car drones. It like seriously doesn't. It's, it's incredible really, because a lot of cars would with the same sort of setup. God, this is tight. I like the pops and bangs, don't get me wrong. Oh my God, there is some traffic. But I do quite like the sound of this car in just sport uh, gearbox, in manual, then in comfort as well. I'll show you what it sounds like in a moment because it sounds ridiculous. So I want to get that mapped in. So when I get the cruise control buttons, I can then get switched from maps and then map... Um, it in so I can have one map with no burbles, no pops, bangs, nothing. Which I feel like I'll probably drive around with more in than I will with the bangs. Because I don't, the bangs are cool, you know, with your mates and everything. Now and again, it bangs, it's quite funny. But on track, that would be very annoying. Uh, and also, I just kind of like the sound of it just revving out. With my M5, that's what it did. It didn't really bang or burble. So I do kind of like it. But I'm going to do another mapping video soon. Um, when, when I've obviously got the cruise control buttons and we can see if we can play around with flames and stuff and all sorts but flames than that is one of those things you just put it on the car and you, you don't keep it on as such let's see if I can get this uh, make, to make the sound a minute are you ready? that sounds ridiculous that sounds so good and that is just revving out that is, there's no bangs or pops that is like <laughs> that sounds <laughs> that is ridiculous. Now I've got to be careful through this bit because this is a tight corner that uh, tourists and stuff cannot get right. Yeah, it's pretty, uh, <laughs> pretty tight. Those lads are probably thinking, what have I got a GoPro in my head for? All right, ready to hear this? Ready? <laughs> that is mad. I need to get the bangs and pops taken out because that sounds ridiculous. <laughs> wow, that is unreal. That is absolutely mental.
put it into comfort. So I'm gonna pull over here somewhere and round off the video. Hopefully it's not too uh, too short, uh, but uh, we managed to get some decent noise out of it. It's a little bit hard when you can't get traction because it's just sliding. I can't actually put my foot down properly because it just slides out everywhere because it's so greasy and there's no way I'm gonna get heat in these tires. So uh, yeah, bit of a bit of a nightmare. Over here is a lovely view that we can stop over, uh, stop and uh, get out the car and finish the video. Look at this view. <laughs> Yeah, we'll stop right here. So that, ladies and gentlemen, is where I'm gonna end today's video. Look at that view. Hopefully you can see that and it's not too blinded by the sun. I'm definitely gonna have to do another POV drive very, very soon, as soon as we get some dry. Um, I don't know if that's gonna happen anytime soon, but you know, we'll see. Also, whilst we're on the POV drive, because I don't think you've ever seen this in, in the POV, um, Look how good the engine bay looks underneath. Like, I know you've seen it loads of times before, but this is like my party piece. Look how good this thing looks. Obviously got the engine cover by Custom Covers, you've got them SATA charge pipe, and also the intake pipe and the strut brace. It just looks so good. And then we've got the M2 competition front end. Yeah, I'm getting proper happy with this now. Do need to sort out that plate, and I also want to get this badge blacked out, but other than that, I'm pretty happy. But anyway, thank you so much for watching today's video. Make sure you leave a like, rate, and comment, and subscribe, and I shall catch you guys very, very soon in a brand new video.